Hey, Candace Russell here, making another video on how to set up a guitar. And this is something that's that's really overlooked a lot with uh, guitar players for whatever reason. You know, you can spend a lot of money on a guitar or just a little money on a guitar and setting it up makes a world of difference. Some guitars that I've played that are very expensive guitars and they're not set up properly and they're just kind of a struggle to play. And then there's been some like $100 guitars that have, have been set up properly that just play like butter. And uh, so I'm gonna go with you through the method that, that I use to uh, set up a guitar. You don't have to do this yourself. You can take it to a shop. Usually they'll charge about 60, 70, 80 bucks or so to set up your guitar. And they're probably a lot better at it than I am. You may have some extra tips if you're watching this and you are like a, a guitar tech and uh, please comment below and you know, I, I'd love to learn more, but I'm gonna just kind of go through some of, the, some of the steps that I use to set up a guitar. The first thing we're gonna do is setting up the distance here on the the strings to the pickup. That's actually something I didn't think about for a long time, but that makes a huge difference on the tone of your guitar and the volume of the pickup. It's pretty easy if you take a little screwdriver and you move, if you twist counterclockwise, it's gonna go down. If you twist clockwise, I don't know if you can see that or not, it's gonna come up. According to Gibson, from what I've read, the factory setup, is a sixteenth of an inch from the string to the pickup, and I'm assuming that means to the top of this, the top of this uh, screw there. And so what you do is you push down at the very end here of the last fret, and then you measure. I don't know if this is going to work here on camera or not, but you measure the distance of that in there. So you can see. Uh, let me go to the other end of this. There's this is a kind of a crappy ruler, but it's a little less. You can see it here, it's a little less than a sixteenth of an inch from the bottom of this to that first line. And so what I do is I just kind of make this where I want this to rest right above that line there. So I'm a little bit too low, so I'm going to just come in here, raise it up, did like kind of a half turn, and uh, you know if you go too far, not a big deal. And that's about an eighth of an inch, I mean a sixteenth of an inch from, from that right there. And you just want to do that on both sides, push down on the fret, do that on both sides of your, of your, uh, of your pickup. So it's the same on both sides of the strings and then do the, then move to your next pickup and your, your neck pickup or your bridge pickup is going to be the same as the neck pickup. But anyway, that's how you adjust the height of your pickup and you might want to just try around playing with different things. You know, I, I like my stuff a little more warm on the warm side, so I might set this maybe to a uh, 16th of an inch, but when I move over to my, my bridge pickup, I might set that maybe a little bit lower so that it's not as hot as uh, the neck pickup. So anyway, there is how to set the height of your pickups. Now let's move along to setting the truss rod. Setting the truss rod, this is how I do it, is see if there's any problems to begin with. So what I'm gonna do is look down the neck. And uh, there's not really a really good way for me to do this on camera, I don't think, but um, I'm looking down the neck like this. Close one eye and just kind of look on both sides of your neck. And I'm gonna, and you can kind of see how the guitar is bowing. And uh, this guitar right now, I don't know if you can see this or not. Well, this is kind of ghetto here, but I can see it, it's kind of, around the B string, around seven frets up or so, to me there's a little bit of a bow. It's kind of, if the uh, this is the, the guitar, it's kind of doing this kind of thing. Uh, I'm obviously being doing very dramatic with that, but it's kind of scooping in and then up. So uh, what I'm gonna do, this is the, the kind of the tricky part of this, is your truss rod and your height adjustment here are, go in combination with each other. Um, and this is a, this type of bridge here has a height adjustment you can make. So what you want to do is first before you, you make any adjustments is see how it plays and see if there's any buzzes. So I usually find from for for this guitar um, and most guitars for me actually I get most of my buzzes on the E string. So I'll just go up and down. You can start to hear some of them there. some buzzes, it's getting worse as it's going up. What's happening is that you're pressing down on a fret, it's hitting, the string is actually hitting the next fret to it. 
And so um, I'm hitting this E string, but it's actually hitting, this is the 12th fret, it's hitting the 13th fret just a little bit as you're pushing it down. So what you wanna do, there's two things you can do. Number one, if you just adjusted the height of the bridge, you'd pull the strings up and then they would have more uh, room where you're not hitting them. But I like a real low action on my guitar so I don't have to press very hard. And so um, the higher your bridge is, the less your, um, the harder you're gonna have to press, the higher up you get especially. So what I'm gonna do is since there is that bow, I'm going to loosen the, uh, sorry, strengthen the truss rod, tighten the truss rod to where it's literally pulling my neck back slightly so that when I raise this up, it's more of a straight shot across the fretboard. So hopefully that makes sense. But uh, anyway, here's the adjustments that I'm gonna make and I'll show you kind of how to do that. So basically what I'm gonna do is take off this face plate and this on most electric guitars, this is where the, uh, the truss rod is at. Most, I'm gonna say. Um, sometimes on acoustic guitars, they're actually at the, uh, the bottom of the neck, um, kind of where the sound hole would be. I'm gonna take these guys off. This guitar needs a good old fashioned cleaning. All right, so hopefully you can see on this that there is actually like a little bolt right there inside underneath that plate there. Usually there's going to be an Allen wrench adjustment to this. And so you just find the appropriate size Allen wrench and make the change. But this guitar has um, like a, a hex bolt in it. And it's actually the only guitar I've ever encountered that has had this. But uh, so what you want to do is these two strings, you basically just loosen up. And just to give you a little bit of room, and then just move the string over like that. This is just gonna give you space to make a turn as you do it. Okay, now um, you wanna think of which, which direction you're turning, left or right, uh, you know, depends on what you want your neck to do. If you turn it to the right, you know, so if, if I had, like an Allen wrench I put in here. All right, even though this isn't, a, a, this Allen wrench doesn't work on this guitar, most of them are done this way, and so I'm gonna use an Allen wrench to, uh, to show you what I mean here. Um, if you were to turn this to the right, twisting the nut to the right, which actually be this way. So if I were to go this way, righty tighty, basically what I'm doing is I'm tightening up the uh, truss rod, which the way you think of it, this is how I think of it as tight or loose. The strings, when they're tight, are pulling the pulling the neck this way, okay? So you would need to be stronger in order to pull it back away from the strings. So if you want to loosen it, it's going to make the, the, the neck come this way. If you tighten it, it's going to straighten it out more this way. So that's how I think of it in terms of whether I should tighten it or loosen it. Right now, I want to tighten it because I want to... Again, my, my neck has kind of, I'm using my hand as an example, kind of has a, that bow in it. So I think of it as the strings going across here, pulling that, creating that bow. So I want to tighten it to straighten it up like this. Um, I was setting up a guitar later on, earlier this week where I did the opposite. I loosened it. It was too, it was too much and the, the neck was kind of doing a backwards bow and I was getting buzzes that way. I'm getting kind of long-winded, but I'm going to go ahead and tighten this guy up. And so I'm going to stick it on there and try to keep track of my, my uh, frame of reference of where I started. And I'm gonna do a quarter turn, okay? So I'm gonna just do a quarter turn on this guy. Right there, maybe a slight bit more. What you don't wanna do is just crank on this a bunch of times um, because you're gonna break your neck. Uh, it's gonna damage your guitar. So do it a quarter turn at a time. From what I understand, um, th th sometimes it takes a while for the neck to really take effect uh, from, the, from the adjustment. So you basically, you would wanna do like a quarter turn and then let it sit for a while. Make sure that, it, that it, it's taking, maybe move the neck up and down and see if it has any effect. So that's what I'm gonna do now and see if, the, if I can notice any difference with that. What I like to do is kind of help out the, the neck from adjusting and basically if you just kind of take it and move your neck back and forth I don't know if this does any good or not it seems to me like it it helps the uh, truss rod kind of find its spot 
in there, but you're basically just, you know, adjusting in there. I just did that for effect to show you what I'm doing, loosening and tightening up the neck. Um, but anyway, it seems to me after doing that, that my neck, I don't know if you can see this or not, it seems to me, at least on this side, that it doesn't have quite the bow that it did before. Um, it seems to me that way. But when I go to play now, and I'm making going up the neck again, still getting that buzz. All kinds of wicked buzz right here. So basically, what's happening now is I need to adjust the height of my bridge in order to compensate for the neck moving back a little bit. So that's what we're going to do next. Okay, this is perhaps the easiest um, thing to do when setting up is just adjusting these guys right here. And not all bridges are the same. You'll have to figure out what this is for your bridge. Um, but basically, if I twist this, it's going to pull this up. Because this whole, this thing with the screw top right here is threaded. And so as I'm twisting, it's going to raise that up. Now, you may have really strong fingers and really be able to kind of dig in there and, uh, and pull that up. Um, my fingers are not strong enough to do that because it's got all this pressure of the strings going down there. So basically, you may have to, to loosen up your strings in order to pull that up. So that's what I'm going to do. Just creating a little bit of, of space. Realize just now on this bridge that this this washer thing that you twist is actually associated with this up here. Um, the original one on this did not do that. So actually, this is significantly easier just to take the appropriate screwdriver and uh, and lift it up that way. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and I think I'll be able to to do that even with with tight strings on it, and that'll help out with the uh, it'll be a little bit easier. All right, so basically what I'm doing is I've got this, my tuner here, so um, I'm making sure I'm in, you know, at least relative tune. Then what I'll do is I'll play the note and find out where it's buzzing. It's got buzz there. And just make an adjustment on this until that goes away. So I'm going to raise this guy up. Strings gonna be out of tune again because I'm I'm tightening it essentially. Get it in tune. Do the same thing. Still some buzzes. Come up a little bit. Still some buzzes. I'm just doing basically quarter turns on this until almost. Much better. A little bit of a little bit of fret noise there. I'm not a huge, don't have a huge problem with a little bit of fret noise because you don't really hear it that much. As long as it's not buzzing, the pickups are picking it up. And then you just want to kind of do the same thing on both ends of it. I don't really have any other buzzes. Well, well, maybe a little bit in there. So I'm going to go ahead and do this side too. Just happen to find that buzz. I'll raise this guy up. Let's get it in tune. I'll raise it up just slightly more. May not have to, but there we go. All right, I think that's acceptable. All right, so after playing it a little bit, it's I've gotten this part here. There's no buzzes, 
and uh, it just still seems a little bit high for my liking. I'm kind of like fumbling over myself just to be able to play. I like my fretboard pretty, probably lower than maybe most people. Um, it's funny, I used to play acoustic mostly, and my fingers were real, real strong because of acoustic, and if I played an electric, it felt like butter. And uh, I can hardly even play acoustic now because I'm so used to my, my low fretboard on my electrics. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust the truss rod a little bit more and see if I can pull this back just a little bit more. And it's going to uh, flatten out the, the strings where it's gonna pull these back down. And I think if I do that combination of maybe raising the bridge a little bit more, will be in a little bit better shape. So I'm gonna pull the truss rod back one more time. I'm gonna just do this one right here. And actually, I, the way I have this set up, I don't think I'm gonna to have to undo the strings here. Um, but if you're using an Allen wrench, then you probably will. Taking note of where I started, pull this back and some of you guys may be able to tell me, I don't know, some tips on this. I should start with the strings loose or not. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure if it matters. All right, so I'm getting a buzz way down here, right at the first fret, and that's where. Another one right here. It's literally getting a buzz right, right there. And on that, that fret there, the string is hitting that. What that tells me is that I've gone a little bit too far on the truss rod. So I'm gonna come back an eighth of a turn this way and uh, see if that makes any difference. And you can see that made a little bit of a difference there. Nice, in tune. Now I'm gonna just go through and make sure, again, this actually feels great the way it is. Make sure I don't have any buzzes. Mm. Those are a little bit too much for me. So I'm gonna go back in, adjust this guy a little bit higher. Did a small turn there. Yeah, we're in great shape. We tune this guy up. Might have to pull this one up slightly too. Get rid of that buzz. Okay, so I made that second adjustment on my truss rod. Kind of went back and forth. Made the uh, adjustments to the bridge. I feel like I've got a got a great playing uh, guitar. So next thing we're going to do is adjust the intonation. What well, the intonation is, is it's basically going to be um, your notes are always going to be in tune all the way up and down your fretboard. So you might be in tune if you open strings here, this is right in tune. But if I go up and I play the E on the 12th fret, you see here, you can see that it's, it's not in tune, it's too sharp. So I have to make an adjustment there. And what you do is on the on the uh, on any basically any decent guitar, you're going to have these um, back and forth adjustments that can be made on the bridge. And what's happening is is you're just you're lengthening or you are or you're shortening the string length. So basically, you just have to make those fine tune adjustments. But basically, if you play the open string, you make sure open strings in tune. Just like this, and you play. The, I usually play the harmonic too. Just put your finger on the 12th fret and let go, and that should also be pretty much in tune, like that. Then, when you play the 12th fret, you know the string itself is in tune. Play the 12th fret. If it's not right on the money, you know that you're off. And so, on this one here, it's too sharp. So I basically need to move this bridge back this way, lengthening. Basically, if you're too sharp on the 12th fret, then you need to 
back off your sat your your bridge, and then if you're too uh, if it's if you're flat on the twelfth fret, you need to move it this way. Okay, so if you're sharp, move it back towards the bridge. If you're uh, flat, then move it towards the neck. Hopefully that makes sense. So we're just going to go through each one of these. I'll zoom up, uh, seeing what I'm doing a little bit closer. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the, uh, the E string. Now, I may not do all of these. I may just show you the uh, couple of them here, but I'm going to make sure I'm in tune. I've got this tuner set where hopefully you can read it as well. i to make sure you're really in there. I'm going to do the harmonic on the 12th fret. Fine tune that adjustment. Okay, we're pretty much in there. Now I'm going to play the 12th fret. Let me see if we can you see that. Open string. Okay, that's pretty much pretty much right on though. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so it's obviously it's registering a little bit flat. So what I want to do is I want to go towards the neck on with my bridge here. So I'm going to take this screwdriver, get it in there, and I'm going to twist counterclockwise. Now what's going to happen is basically sometimes this gets lodged up on like one of the winds of the string. So I always usually, usually try to lift it up a little bit. And there's a spring in there and it'll, as soon as you lift up on it, the spring will shoot that way. Um, you don't have to do it as much when you're pulling it, but when you're pushing it that way, you do. Um, let me see here. Make sure we're in tune again. I'm gonna use my pick because I'm gonna use it when I'm playing. Harmonic, we're in. And we're on. That was an easy adjustment. Let's keep on going here. Still got a little bit of buzz on this. I think that that on on this G string that it's over the years worn too far down into my nut. Um, but that's another video. Right now, I'm going to just deal with the buzz. Okay, twelfth fret. I am sharp. Pretty pretty sharp. I'm gonna pull it back this way. Another thing I'm going to mention is um, I like to do this exactly the way I'm doing it where I'm laying the guitar down because if you are holding it and you're doing your tuning, a lot of times you don't realize this, but you're actually putting a weight, you know, your arm is, is pulling back or pushing forward on the neck itself and you're not, and you're actually, you're thinking you're playing um, the note, but if you, maybe you're playing the open string, but you're holding on to the neck while you're playing the open string, you may be pulling that out of tune or sharp or flat without even realizing it. So I usually try to do it where I'm not really touching um, when I'm when I'm doing this. All right, I kind of stopped recording while I did some of this. I had to really, really back this guy, this uh, saddle way back up in order to, uh, to get it in tune, but finally got it. Still slightly sharp. I can tell you, I can just look at this and tell you I'm going to be way sharp. Yeah. So let me go ahead and pull this guy down. Anyway, there we go. It looks like that's pretty uh, set up pretty well. Well, so that was how to set up a guitar, specifically a Les Paul style guitar. But uh, man, I can tell you right now just by just even just fiddling around with this guy. It feels like a different guitar, but I hope that this uh, video is inform informative for you and uh, hopefully some of you guys will be able to set up your guitars and be like, man, there's so much more fun to play uh, your instrument. So anyway, hey, if you would, please hit the like on this video. I know this is kind of a longer video and uh, if you're through it to this point, you probably have enjoyed it. But if you have enjoyed it, please hit the like on YouTube. And uh, also follow me um, on Twitter at Kenneth Russell and like me on Facebook.com slash Kenneth Russell Music and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really helps out and uh, I really appreciate it. And thank you for watching and I will see you in another video.